Hello everyone, welcome back to another Music Learning Club lesson. In this lesson, we're going to learn key signatures. The key signatures placed at the beginning of the music after the clef and before the time signature. They tell us that in what key is the music has been written. In key signature, a sharp or flat symbol on a line or space of the stave indicates that the note represented by the line or space is to be played a semitone higher for sharps and a semitone lower for flats. This applies through the end of the piece or until another key signature is used. In the example, we have two sharps, F sharp and C sharp. This indicates that all the Fs and Cs should be played F sharp and C sharp. If we check all the Fs and Cs in the example, there isn't any C, but all the Fs are highlighted and they should be played F sharp. Key signatures and accidentals are different. The key signatures apply through the end of the song, but accidentals only apply to the corresponding note in a bar through the end of the bar. We have two types of key signatures, sharps and flats, and there are seven sharps and seven flats. It is very important to count them in correct order. As you see on the stave that the first sharp is F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp, A sharp, E sharp, and B sharp. And the flats are B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, C flat, and F flat. If you notice the pattern between sharps and flats, the first sharp is F and the last flat is F2. So if you memorize sharps, you won't need to memorize flats. All you need to do is write sharps backwards to find the flats. It would be easier to memorize the key signatures if you memorize these sentences. For sharps, Father Christmas gave that an electric blanket. For flats, blanket exploded and that got cold feet. Keys with key signatures. Relative keys have the same key signatures. Every key have a major and minor key. C major and A minor do not have any key signatures. In sharps, one sharp for G major and E minor, two sharps for D major and B minor, three sharps for A major and F sharp minor, four sharps for E major and C sharp minor, five sharps for B major and G sharp minor, six sharps for F sharp major and D sharp minor, and seven sharps for C sharp major and A sharp minor. For flats, one flat for F major and D minor, two flats for B flat major and G minor, three flats for E flat major and C minor, four flats for A flat major and F minor, five flats for D flat major and B flat minor, six flats for G flat major and E flat minor, and seven flats for C flat major and A flat minor. One of the quick and easy way to identify a key from the key signatures is in sharps. If you go a semitone up from the last sharp, you will get the major key and if you go two semitones down from the last sharp you will get the minor key in the example the last sharp is f sharp and if i go a semitone up i will get g major and two semitones down from the f sharp would be e minor another example for sharps the last sharp is g sharp if i go a semitone up from g sharp i will get a major and if i go two semitones down from G sharp, I will get F sharp minor. Another example for sharps, the last sharp is A sharp. If I go a semitone up from A sharp, I will get B major. And if I go two semitones down from A sharp, I will get G sharp minor. In flats, the major key is the penultimate flat. There are two flats in the example and the key is the first flat, which is B flat major. To find the relative minor, you need to go three semitones down from B flat, which is G minor. There are four flats in this example. The key is the penultimate flat, which is A flat major. To find the relative minor, you need to go three semitones down from A flat, which is F minor. In this example, there are seven flats. The key is the penultimate flat which is C flat major. To find the relative minor, you need to go three semitones down from C flat, which is A flat minor. This one is a tricky one. If there is one flat, all you need to remember is the word flat. The first letter of flat is F, which is the key. So if you go three semitones down from F, you will get D minor. Thanks for watching Music Learning Club video. Please like and subscribe if you find the lesson useful. Hope to see you soon. Bye.